got a couple of questions here in an email. I uh, figured I'd share it out with you guys because this is stuff I get a lot here in uh, the body weight community. Uh, email from Bobby Yu uh, asking about more clarification on my post on how calisthenics has not only can meet weightlifting as far as being able to build size and muscle, but has significant advantages to building muscle over classic weightlifting. Um, and I got the post on Red Delta Project, I'll post a link down below. But a couple of things that he was asking about, uh, one of which is, is the strength um, effect, the tension in the muscles, the exact same of when you're doing like an advanced push-up, like archer push-ups and stuff, compared to like the bench press? And the simple answer is absolutely not. Always remember, strength is specific. So it's flexibility and cardio and conditioning and balance and everything you ever condition your body to do is always specific to that activity. So the strength you get from a barbell is different from the strength you will get from push-ups, which is different from the strength you'll get from a weight machine, which is different from the strength you'll get on cables, which is different from, well, basically you change anything, you are changing the physiological adaptation. Remember, it's called the said principle for a reason. Specific adaptation to impose demand. There is absolutely no way you can ever do any exercise and get the exact same strength and results of some other exercise. It's the, the uh, variations are too, too many. Now, does that mean that you can only build strength one way? Absolutely not but strength is always specific to what you do. And I know a lot of times people say, well, I wanna be strong. You always have to say, I wanna be strong for X, Y, and Z. There's no such thing as just being strong because no matter what you do, you're gonna suck at something. You're not going to be strong at something. And whenever you do something specific way, so if you jump on a barbell bench press and you have your hands exactly shoulder width and a, shoulder and a half width, and you do eight reps, for with 200 pounds, you are literally building the strength to do a bench press at that width for eight reps with that weight. That's exactly what you're doing. Every exercise in existence is the exact same thing. It says, be able to do this exactly this way. And everything that modifies it slightly from that is going to be less than optimal. So no, the bench press can't be the best way to condition you for push-ups. Push-ups can't be the best way to condition you for bench press. But the question I know that most people are asking is, I just want to get big and strong, which is the best way? And the, you can do it either way. These are nothing more than vehicles, okay? The bench press was not invented as the be-all, end-all to building strength. Neither was the push-up, neither was any exercise, really. It, it really boils down to what do you want to do? Uh, it always drives me crazy when people are like, it depends on your goals. No, it doesn't. Unless your goal is specific performance, like I need to be able to do 100 push-ups, then yes, you better be doing push-ups. But if your goal is general, like strength, whatever, do whatever. You'll get it either way. You get it, do whatever you want. Base it more on what you want to do and what you like to do, because you do it either way. Uh, the other question he's asking is, um, asking about specific muscles. Like, I feel like I'm not getting it as much in my chest or my traps or anything like that. The thing that we always must recognize is that muscle tension is not the result of an exercise. It doesn't happen just because you do this sort of drill. So doing push-ups may not hit your chest all that hard because muscle tension and telling muscles to turn on does not come from an exercise. It comes from your mind. Remember, you have this mind-muscle connection, mind-muscle link. So if you are not really getting anything from uh, uh, like a, a burn in the chest, you're not really feeling like you're getting much in the, in the pectorals or whatever, that's nothing about the exercise. It's not about reps or sets or routines or anything. It's simply about the connection between this and your muscle, the pectorals or whatever, just isn't a very strong link. So when you jump down into your push-ups or whatever, your mind is saying, oh, okay, well, I don't really know much about using the, bed, the uh, chest. So triceps, you guys work really hard. And shoulders, you guys work really hard. And all these other things, and that connection's not very strong. So that's why we have lagging body parts. It's nothing about the exercise. Because when, whatever exercise you ever do, it's just going to carry that same muscle connection along with it. So if you've got the connection, it'll be great for all of them. If you don't have the connection, it'll be terrible for all of them. And unless you are aware of that connection, you may gain it, then you may lose it. And then you just keep searching for different exercises. It has nothing to do with the exercise. Uh, 
Last exercise was, or uh, question was this idea of toning, feeling like I'm feeling like I'm getting smaller, but my muscles are getting more toned. And I run into this a lot with the body weight community, uh, particularly weight lifters saying, well, it's great for toning, you'll get smaller, but your muscles will stand out more, which is an absolute nonsense idea because the visual aspect of your body, muscle tone, is the, the root cause of it is simply down between muscle and fat. That's it. Those are the only things that you're, you're affecting. Water too can affect, but it's so transient that we don't really talk about it. But muscle, if you are experiencing muscle tone, more tone, the only thing that's happening is you're losing fat or you're building muscle or one or, or both. That's the only way you're ever going to experience more muscle tone. So if your body's getting smaller, but you're getting more tone, the only way that's possible is if you're losing body fat. That's the only way. You cannot possibly lose muscle and lose muscle tone. It's physiologically impossible. So if you feel like you're smaller, but you have more tone and you're noticing more shape, that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing. You're getting more athletic physique, which calisthenics is great for. So I hope that answers you there, Bobby. And if you have any questions down below, till then be fit, live free.